History was made today as the Jefferson Davis statue was removed from the Capitol Rotunda. Crews arrived at 7 o'clock this morning to continue the work that started yesterday afternoon. At about 5.30 this evening, the statue was lifted by a crane and set onto the back of a truck bed. The State Property and Buildings Commission voted 11 to 1 to have the statue taken down. It will be moved to Jefferson's birth site, which is the Jefferson Davis Historic Site in Fairview. We spoke to some as they were watching this moment in history. So this is major history. We're moving a man who was the great divider and leaving the man in the center of the rotunda who was the great uniter. I think it's a piece of history. I think it's a, a change. and We're getting to see the uh, change take place, the removal of the statue. There was a surprise in store when workers first picked up the statue and looked inside the base. Several items were found, including a State Journal newspaper from October of 1936 and a bottle of bourbon. It is Kentucky, of course. The half pint came from the Glenmore Distilleries Company, and it was a hundred proof Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Governor Bashir was one of the first to examine those newly found artifacts. It is kind of interesting. I think the the most interesting part to me is that all of these statues to Civil War, <clears throat> I'm not going to call them heroes, went up in the 30s. And uh, that's an interesting piece of history there, a little revisionist history maybe. Also, a piece of paper was inside the bourbon bottle in the statue's base. An expert will have to remove it carefully and determine if anything was written on it. Pretty neat, though.